what's happening at the Broncos. Yes. And I read an article on Saturday Sun, night, actually. Yep. It came through my feed. But then Sunday, I went and bought the paper and I read it. And a couple of things that disappointed me is they're at the bottom of the table. They got the wooden spoon last year. The guy that's in charge of them now wasn't there. I know how passionate, I know how hard he's working to turn them around. Okay. And the ship was actually sinking. It was full of water, it was sinking, and to turn it back around. And if the three players, I think it's a few players, right? But I know who they are, right? And if they keep on going, right, you've got to stay. No, no, seriously. I know. Right? You can laugh for as long as you want. No, no, it was Robbie disgusting. Robbie Farrah did it five years ago. I know, right? and you outed him. Right, because you don't do it. You go to the coach and you tell him you've got a problem. Matt Lodge, I've had my issues with Matt Lodge. Do you yeah. know the greatest thing about Matt Lodge? Put his name to it. Yeah. Big photo of Matt Lodge. Matt Lodge put his name to what he was saying. Yep. Right? So he owned the words. All these guys that are ringing, the journalists or whatever, so I don't know who's worse, the journalists who wrote it or the players that are saying it, and write their names. But I know who they are. So if they keep on going, I'll out them like I did Robbie Farrer, and I'll make sure, and I'll make it my personal. I'll get personal with them so they don't get another club because that's wrong. So what they're doing to the game, it's weak. There's no courage in talking behind someone's back. I'll just give them a word of advice. You're going to get more respect than life. If you stab someone in the chest, not the back. And that's the worst thing they've done. They've got a guy there. They failed Wayne Bennett. Yep. He got the sack. They failed Anthony Seabolt. He got the sack. One guy failed another bloke at another club. Well, he's got the sack. Yep. And now they're failing this guy. But this guy's not going to get the sack because uh-huh. he's got too many blokes on his side that are going to fight for him. So that's my apricity finance. Can for, I ask you this? To all the players, if you've got some courage, because I watch them play and they don't. That's the funny thing. I've watched those guys play, and I know that they're gutless. Can I ask you this? Kevin was hurt by it, but why are they making so many I don't know so why Kevin untruths? should be hurt by it, because, because you know just what? flick him. Because you know what? No, he no, because he's told him that. that he doesn't want him. He didn't deserve it. No, no, he's no, been no, no. He told him that. I'll yeah. tell you why they did it, because he told him that they're not wanted, right, yeah. from what I'm hearing. And do you know what? No other club wants them. And if they keep it up, and they might jag another club, but not if I go on and every media outlet that I'm on and I talk about the blokes because no coach is going to want them. Right. So if they want a job in the game, they shut up, roll their sleeves up and have a dig. Well, they haven't proven they can do that yet. No, a leopard never changes their spots. One's a horse, They don't have sleeves. Bolts. The blokes I'm talking about don't have sleeves because they can't roll them up. 